the best bug in the world. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to another Pokemon Days with my bug, Monotype. We've got Elite Scolipede, a speed boosting Ninjask, a scarfed up Heracross, and a Specs Yanmega, as well as a Specs Galvantula, and then Ender, the bulky Volcarona. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try and Swords Dance here. And he fucking goes right for the Brave Bird. I thought he was gonna protect or something like that. He's probably gonna hit me with Quick Attack on the next turn. And take me down. Uh, not a good play on my part. Really bad, because it is an uphill battle. We're gonna have to fight all these birds with my fucking bugs. Um, so we'll see if Ninjas can outspeed this Swellow. I think Swellow's base speed is like 250. Maybe, maybe, uh, Samson could do something with the close combat. We'll see. He, ha he does have Moxie, and the Scarf should be able to catch him off guard, my opponent off guard. And yes, he does leave the Swellow in, expecting me to set up, but, uh, that leads to a nice little attack boost for me. And I don't know if this Char- <laughs> Star Raptor's Choice Scarf, but I'm gonna risk it and call his bluff, but it's definitely scarfed, <laughs> and it blitzes my hair across into the ground. So it's not looking good. There are a lot of frail Pokemon, frail Birdmons, and frail, uh, Bugmons as well. So I go for the Volt Switch, Specs Volt Switch with Tesla the Galvantula, and it fails completely because he switches to Landorus. I go into Ninjask now, uh, partially expecting Stealth Rocks. But he goes for uh, Rock Polish, which is not good. So he just might outspeed my Ninjas this turn, and I don't have Protect. The only thing I have is Substitute, uh, which is not going to outspeed whatever tricks I'm sure he has up his sleeve. So we're going to try and go for Substitute. No. No! Not happening. We are fucked! Oh man. Okay. I guess we're going to try and get the Yen Mega in here. I guess, uh, Air Slash, it's Spex as well, he goes for Rock Polish, which I guess is okay, he knows there's not a whole lot I can do against him, that Landorus is fucking dooming, and, um, yeah, I guess Air Slash again, but Jesus Christ, I put myself in a really bad situation here, oh, thank God, he lived, he lived, thank you, Booma, <laughs> He so good to me. Now he's probably gonna bring in that fucking Star Raptor again. And then what am I gonna do? Jack shit. Sit in here and die, I guess. He goes for U-turn. Nope. It's four times resisted, I think, but it's still enough to KO my poor Yan Mega. And uh, he goes into Thunderous, which sucks because Galvantula will only hit it neutrally. I don't have anything that will do any good really. So I'll go into Ender, just see if I can get some Quiver Dances up. Galvantula will be a good trump card now that Landorus is out of the way, as long as I can keep my opponent from boosting anymore. So I got my Quiver Dance up, which is kind of nice, and uh, I guess I'm just going to start landing this thing with some Fire Blast or something. He probably won't switch out. Mm, yeah, Fire Blast. <laughs> I don't I, I don't think he'll switch out, so that's why I didn't go for Quiver Dance. I was about to, but I, I thought better of it. So, yeah, we break a sub, he gets a nasty plot up, and I'm just gonna keep laying into with the Fire Blast. Hopefully he's scared enough that um, I should be faster, so he'll keep uh, bumping the subs, hoping for my Fire Blast to miss, and... Oh, here comes the Togekiss! All of my speculation goes out the window as he brings in the Togekiss. Fire Blast hits that thing like a fucking truck. I know it's going to try and paralyze me and do some para flinch bullshit. So I'm just going to hit it with Fire Blast again. Boom! Not going to miss any of these fucking things. Look at this. Oh, Ender the Volcarona. That's why I call him Ender. Because, look, we're, we're bringing this game back from the fucking brink. I think it was like two against five at the worst. And he brings in the Skarmory now, which might be okay. If I could get the burn on him, that would be really, really helpful. But, uh, we'll see how that goes. 
Oh, he tosses out the stealth rocks, which is fine. Most of my team's dead, and Galvantula is only going to take 25% from stealth rocks. Volcarona would take 80, but um, luckily, he's already in here, and boosted, and fucking slaying shit. Bug buzz, son! Four times resist to move in your face! Aw, oh, the fucking Star Raptor. I know he's gonna be faster. We're gonna have to be able to take a hit, but like I said, this Volcarona is kinda bulky. It is at full health. I'm pretty sure we might be able to do something as long as fucking Fire Blast doesn't miss. Also, uh, he, he's saving his Thunderous for last in order to counter my Galvantula. Which is a pretty smart move on his part. He's like a next level player. Oh my god. He just got fucking wrecked by Fire Blast. I thought it was Scarf the whole time. Alright, so here comes the Thunderous. And um, I don't know if I'm going to outspeed this thing. I only have three Fire Blasts left. But that seems to be about how many substitutes he can make. So... We'll see how it goes, I suppose. I could put in another Quiver Dance here because I know what he wants to do. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go for Fire Blast. Our luck seems to be holding so far. And I'm, I'm pretty confident about this now. Fucking Volcarona has flipped the entire game. The best bug in the world. You can't tell me that it isn't. Jesus Christ. So we got one more Fire Blast. Gotta do it! And, uh, I actually do have Bug Buzz, which can hit through a substitute, so... I think he's gonna sub again. I'm gonna Bug Buzz, and that should be the game, I believe. Probably. Yeah, because I have a special attack boost. And he's gonna be at, like, 16% or something. 8%! Well, yeah. Okay. Here's a Quiver Dance! Just make sure that we're gonna KO right now. And, uh, get the Bug Buzz on. Oh, he sets up a nasty plot? Are you serious, bro? That. <laughs> oh. So this has been another Pokemon Days. My bug monotype won against fucking flying type. I love these uphill battles. Um, I'd also like to announce the winners of the Galicide Steam Key giveaway. Here are all the entrants, as you can see. Uh, Pure Remix, GLN June. Rafi Kai, Tia Wu, Iki9209, Michael McClung, Phoenix Wing, Tim Lord, Shunyan Chu, Panic Dev, Something Tuba, Trumpet, Pipe, can't pronounce it, Janice Wilson, and Taz Kong McGraw. So thank you so much to everybody for entering. We're gonna hit the random name button and see whose name pops up. I know. Drum roll, please. Panic Dev! Y'all first winner, congratulations to you, good sir. Uh, there will be a Steam key in your inbox. And let's see who our second name is. P drum roll, please. Icky9209. Thank you to all of you for entering. And this has been another Pokemon Day. It's another Date and Dissects giveaway. I will be doing another one this Friday, so do stay tuned for that. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you did enjoy, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. This has been Pokemon Days. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See. You